Utah with the lead against the Hawks at Phillips Arena. Great energy and aggression offensively, making their own luck with a lot of second chance points. It's been a Michael Conley clinic in this one against the Hawks. What he's been able to do from the field has been nothing short of spectacular. Only a select few players in the league can shoot the ball like that. And hanging tough, the Atlanta Hawks. And it's a problem again, jacking up too many threes. The Jack Squat to show for it. Rajon Rondo falling short so far in this one. An embarrassing stat for him as he comes to the break. No shots made from the floor. Let's start off with a look at what's on tap for later on tonight. It'll be the Pistons up against the Nuggets out in Denver. Some East meets West action in that one. A 7.30 Eastern time is tip off. And the other game that's scheduled later tonight, the Rockets out in Houston will go up against the Timberwolves. Good buzz always happening for that matchup. That one gets started at 8 Eastern. That's all we've got here. Now, back to Kevin, Steve, Clark, and Doris for the second half. The Sprint Halftime Report, presented by Sprint. And now the third quarter about to get going. We're seeing a tremendous game from Tommy. Yeah, he's been a revelation here tonight. Clark scoring almost at will there in the half. Hard to imagine he'll keep it up for the next two quarters, but you never know. Jazz leading by nine. They've got Collins. Young is out there with Bogdanovich. And it's Hunter in at the three. So that's the lineup for Atlanta. O'Neal gets to go bare. Conley lifts up. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. Barnes shoot. In 49% on the game. That's okay. Shoots from the elbow. Tries again. And down the basket. He was fouled. And he's going to the line for one more. Shooting one. It's a great play under the boards for him. And, you know, that's the standard that he sets. It seems like all those second chance points, I mean, they're there for him game in, game out. Takes the alley -oop pass and dunks it down. Boy, the prettiest play in basketball to me. Execute it to perfection. I don't think you're going to get an argument there. Everybody loves the alley oop. Well, unless you're the team getting dunked on, of course. The Hawks trail by eight. And Young backs in. This is it for Number 24. And that basket is going to count. Goaltending the official call. He got there late, but you do have to like the aggressiveness to go after the block. But that one's going to count. Jazz leading by six. Outside Conley. Feeds to O'Neal. Fires the three. That's in there. Conley with the assist. O'Neal's got seven. Just over a minute and a half have passed here in the third quarter. Young against Conley. It's stolen by Gobert. And now Utah, fast break. Conley's running. The putback slams it back in. And now an 11-point Jazz lead. Well, most of all, I just love the work he puts in on the offensive glass. So many of his points come on putbacks just because of sheer hustle. And another thing he's known for all over the league is what an angry set block he is. He does it with attitude. He it out of the air and sends it behind the shoot. And the Jazz call time here. Let's give a look now at the 2K leaderboard to see who led the league in assists last year. And we're just about two minutes into the second half now. O'Neal with it. Now defended by Hunter. Here's Gobert. Oh, and there's the one-handed jam. Tacks a few more points onto their lead with the town hall. Ah, that's bringing the town hard. <laughs> yes, sir. Bring the town yes, hard, sir. my brother. Yes, sir. <laughs> 
Hawks trail by 11. Young with the ball. And he picks him up. Teammates going with it, fellas. Conley lifts up. Here's Bogdanovich for Mike Conley. Hawks passing it around. It's Young on the wing. And the shot is good. Young's got four points in the quarter. Guys, he shot a very good percentage today, and they need it. Jazz leading by seven. Outside Conley. Conley off the pit from Gobert. Terrific design on the pit foot, and he lays it in. And that's now 18 points for Mike Conley. Got a piece of it. It's going by Gobert. Defense is foul. Here's Conley. 18 points for him. O'Neal gets a screen from Gobert. Now that was pretty. That was just a nice looking reverse jam right there. Use the rim, Clark, to protect the ball, I think, too, a little bit. Yeah, yeah. did a nice job with it. Yeah, no question, Kevin. Great awareness and terrific finish. And Young kicks to Bogdanovich. Throws it from outside. Bogdanovich has got 11. And that's another assist for a team that is putting on the clinic on how to share the ball. I just love the mentality they've had. If a shot isn't there, they're not forcing anything. They're moving it side to side and working to get a good shot. Gobert, the pass to O'Neal. Just five on the clock. And the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. All of the scoring in tight is coming at that end of the court. Well, they're finding the holes in the defense, Clark, and they're exploiting them. The Jazz making a switch here. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. The Hawks trail by 11. Young with the ball. Now guarded by Mitchell. Pass to Bogdanovich. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Jazz will take it. And here's what's up coming now for the Hawks. The Celtics will be coming into town for the next game. And then it'll be the third of the four straight at home. Jazz leading by 11. Mitchell passes to Ingles. Hits it from three-point range. Six points for him. You know, they've got to make him earn those threes. You play off of him, and he's automatic from that distance. And there's the whistle. Fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. Talk about complete control. Everything working in this one for Young. He's got 14 points and a huge helping of assists as well. Now, he's a maestro, Clark. I mean, the conductor of this offense putting on a fantastic performance. And the first one in the line is good. Bogdanovich, he's checked in for Mitchell. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Jazz have gotten eight of their 11 shots to drop since the break. A great third quarter for them offensively. O'Neal is screen on Collins. Ingles passes to Conley. Tries it from nine. Second shot opportunity. No good from Gobert. All the defender had to do there was just stay close to him, and he did. And there's the feed to Young. And out of bounds is the Jazz in possession. That is not a difficult pass. You'd think they could keep it in bounds. Mitchell, he's checked in for Utah. Mitchell. Defensive work there by Young. 
It seems like nothing is falling for him this quarter. He's really out of his rhythm. Here's Dunn. And he drew the blocking foul. He'll go to the line for two. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Jazz. They've been the aggressors, and they've been tougher in the paint all game. They've also jumped on any opportunity they've had to attack the basket tonight. I mean, excellent penetration. And the first one drops. Some great free throw shooting so far in this second half. I think they should keep trying to initiate contact and get back to the line until they start missing from there. But as it is, they're perfect so far, so keep it up. O'Neal's checked in for Mike Conley. And Gobert kicks to Mitchell. He passes to Gobert. Here's Mitchell. The Jazz working the ball around now. How about that? Breaking out the Statue of Liberty on that dunk. A nice way to pad that lead a little more. Yeah, you got that right. The Hawks trail by 12. And that one defended by Gobert. Let's the free fly. It's the bucket. Six points for him. That shot becomes effortless for him when the D is so relaxed. They gotta get more intense. Ingles passes to Mitchell. And a strong finish with two hands. Boy, he threw out some punishment with that two-hand throwdown. Well, now's the time to do it. Keep attacking that rim. Atlanta's gone into the three-point range four times since halftime and buried two of them. And Young, and here we go. Gets it to go. Young's got 18 points. Drop that one in as soft as a feather using the finger roll. There's the pass to Ingles. Here's Bogdanovich, defended by Hunter. And the Jazz, another three. Talk about doing a Rip Van Week on defense. Come on, guys, wake up. Why are they leaving him open at the three-point line? Yes. Had to give him a huge injection of energy clock. And Kevin, that's exactly what they need right now. They've got to close the gap. Forget about that for a second. How about the burst to the bucket for a point guard? Well, he just power those down. You've got to give them a lot of credit for the job they've done on the backboard. Well, they've done a lot of things right, but I agree with you, Frank. The rebounding is right there at the top of the list. The first free throw is good. The Jazz is making a switch here. He's perfect from the line this time. Jazz leading by 10. Not loose. Fast break for Hawks. By himself. It's down the breakaway shot. Textbook example there. How to use defense to create offense. Yes, beautiful transition play after the steal. All the way to the basket. Wasted no time going from defense to offense. Well, it feels like they're starting to pick up the intensity as the game itself starts to get a little more tight and close. Boy, extremely opportunistic defense leading to those points that that dunk card coming within seconds of the steal. Love the way they convert from defense to offense. But, but that's what happens when you get all five guys on a string defensively ready to react and make a play. Mitchell. Looks blocked. The question is, do they go two for one here? Can they get a good shot in time? That's the question. There's a good screen. Here's done. And the three off target. Utah's gotten going here in the second half from outside, nailing three of four from the arc. Number 31. And it's wide right. It's off the rim. Pass to Bogdanovich. And once again off the mark by Atlanta. Can't get it to go. And offensively, a great show for the fans through the first three quarters. It's been a fun game to watch. Jazz out in front, up by six. And we're coming right back. Be sure to stay with us as we get started for the fourth quarter. Tune in Monday, November 23rd. The Indiana Pacers show up against the Boston Celtics. Don't. We're set to start the action up here in the fourth quarter, and if it's anything like the first three, we should be in for a treat. The Hawks trail by six. 
And Utah looking at who they've got to start the fourth quarter. Inside. Collins. And is going to be the call. So they get the basketball here. He thought he had that one clean, but the refs saw it differently. They'll count the basket. Utah leading by three. Conley into the lane. And lots of contact there. He's in the shot. He'll shoot two. That's good from Conley. And the Jazz making a change here. Bob got it. It just checked in. So he goes one for two. He did the important part at the line there. The heavy lifting, if you will. Made this a two-possession game. Young with the ball. Conley gets him up. And so it looks like the Hawks will retain possession here. Young for three. Again, Young missing. Got a good look, though. I thought that was going to go down. Well, the D may have done just enough there, Clark, to bother him and throw that shot off. Conley gets the bucket. Conley's got 21 in the game. Boy, the deeper we get into this game, the more offense we're seeing. And that goes for both teams, Steve. Everybody firing on all cylinders right now. Reddish. It's rebounded by Gobert. No breathing room at all to take that shot. Clarkson defended by Bogdanovich. Conley off the pick from Gobert. Six on the shot clock. Here's Bogdanovich. Off target from three-point range. The Hawks trail by six. Guys are looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time getting the lid off the basket so far. I've really appreciated their activity in the post today. I mean, their movement down low has been great. Yep, ball movement, player movement. They're generating a lot of easy opportunities for themselves down there. Hawks making a switch here. Hunter's checked in. Pass to Bogdanovich. All sorts of time. And he overshot that one, missing. I'll tell you what, folks. I bet he won't miss that shot next time he takes it. Now the pass to Bogdanovich. He nails it. to Bogdanovich. Jacks up a three. And that one falls coming off Conley's feet. Conley's got six assists now in the game. And Young picks to Bogdanovich. Another three for Bogdanovich. You can just see his confidence rising every time he knocks one down beyond the arc. And the Jazz call time here. You have to like what we're seeing from Young. You need to make some adjustments because he's absolutely scorching. Doris Burke has some information for us. Doris. Yeah, during that break, the head coach of the Jazz had some words for his team. Despite the deficit, he told his guys, I've got confidence in you. We've had our backs against the wall before. You know what you need to do. Kevin, can they retake the lead? Thanks a lot, Doris. And now we'll get a perspective here on how the hustle game has been going for the Hawks. Boy, their hounding, harassing effort at the defensive end, very impressive. And they forced quite a few turnovers as a result. And something else they've excelled at is their interior defense. A lot of block shots for them. This game's going to take a big swing. Clark, if the D continues to clear out like that and give up easy dunks. Yeah, that's the kind of defense we expect to Come see on. in a blowout, Kevin, or even an exhibition game, not a close game like this. Oh, and you're just doing Steve is on. No, I just, you know what? Oh, yes. just, Come on, yeah, I, I just like they didn't choose to just lay it up. I mean, he threw it down with force. Here's Hunter. And he drops in the way up off the glass. And the Hawks lead by two. A very hot shooting second half has seen them bring that field goal percentage way up. Yeah, they're cruising now. Really looking to add to this lead. And this has been a clinic, Clark. Here's Clarkson. No good on the three. 
for Atlanta. They've gotten into a pretty good groove going six and ten here in the final quarter. Ronald right the to Young. Let's it go from deep. Conley grabs the miss. The Jazz have gone three of six in the field so far in the fourth quarter. He passes to Bogdanovich. Back to Conley. O'Neal from downtown. Here's Gobert. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. The first one falls. Second free throw, no good. Atlanta's gotten off four three pointers in the final quarter, and two of them have fallen. And Bogdanovich kicks to Hunter. Pass to Bogdanovich. Plus, defended by Bogdanovich. He dishes it to O'Neal. Jazz passing it around. Another miss by Utah. The Hawks leading. And Young, here we go. Collins pass it to Hunter. And once again off the mark by Atlanta. Nobody near him. He'll normally make that one. Conley gets the bucket. Mark and Steve Heater team with a big advantage here in the fourth quarter. Five times we've had the lead switch so far. I mean, back and forth we go. And I think that total could rise for us because uh, two evenly matched teams uh, playing a tough game. Shooting for the ball. Mitchell, he's good in for Utah. No free throws, good from Bogdan. The Jazz have gotten just under 45% of their attempts to drop in the fourth or of nine. Outside Conley. Kicks to O'Neal. No good with the triple. Hard shooting it well here in the fourth quarter. 50%. And Young, here we go. The pass to Hunter. Over by Conley. Young from outside. That's good. Young's got 14 points here in the second half. He's played an important role in their offense today, guys. Without him, they may not be in the league. Jazz trail by four. They can use a big shot here to get this offense going. Sure could, Kevin. I mean, too many empty trips. They need some points. And Gobert hits to O'Neal from past the arc. Can't hit. It has not been an easy quarter for him, at least offensively speaking. Number 24, defended by Bogdanovich. Hunter, the pass to Bogdanovich. Another three for Bogdanovich. They're relying on their three-point shooting and getting pretty good results right now. Yeah. In fact, three of the last five makes are from beyond the arc. They're really on their heels at this point. Yeah, really at both ends of the floor. Nothing seems to be going their way. Conley, a finger roll finish at the bucket. Conley's got 25 points in the game. You know, it's really going to be all about hard work from this point on. And they worked hard to create that high-quality shot right there. Yeah, and that's their goal down the stretch. Continue to, to find those close-range shots. In Joni. And that one falls coming off Conley's feet. Conley's got assist number seven for him tonight. It hasn't happened as quickly as he would have liked, but he's finally putting some points on the board in this game. Young against Conley. And Young, and here we go. There's Bogdanovich. A target with his three. Jazz trailed by three. Conley versus Dormier. Pass it to go there. He kicks it to Conley. Here's Bogdanovich, defended by Young. Picks the bucket. Bogdanovich has got five points in the quarter. Atlanta's gone over and over to the three-point shot in the fourth quarter. Four of nine. There's a screen. Here's Bogdanovich. Misses off the left iron. 
The Jazz are gone. 7 to 15 from the floor here in the fourth. Right around 46, 47 percent. Defended by Bogdanovich. Down over across the young. Here's Bogdanovich. The Hawks again can't hit. And they're in position to take the lead. You know what? A bucket here would mean a bunch at this stage of the game. To take the lead. Another shot. It falls! Boy, has he picked it up in the second half. He's on fire. Young with the ball. Finally picks him up. And Young picks to Collins. No good again that time. They can in every position with that shot, and they'd be happy. Nine times out of ten, that's an easy layup. I think we'll see them burn the clock a bit here. You know, I think that's probably a smart move. I think so, too. And Bogdanovich kicks to Mitchell. Hands the three! That is a clutch shot if I've ever seen one. <laughs> yeah, very gutsy there. What more can you say? He got it done at the best time. Bogdanovich passes to Collins. Here's Bogdanovich. This is De Young. Pass to Bogdanovich. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. And he commits the intentional foul. Yeah, you gotta freeze the clock. That's the enemy in this situation. A few misses at the line, and they're in good shape. That's the first, and that puts them up by a five. So he gets them both, and it's a six-point ball game. That's exactly how you close the game out. Those free throws are very unsecure. Seven seconds left in the fourth quarter. On the arc. Here's Collins. Can't get it to fall. And so it's Utah with the win. They pulled off this win, Clark, with respectable performances on both ends of the floor. Yeah, I think it was just really a nice overall effort, Kevin. Now it's time to sing so long. Good point, Kellogg's Andrew and Boris This is Kevin Hart, along with our 2K Sports team, thanking you for tuning in.